today as somebody or i think mr bhatia or mr golani or air vice marshal golani mentioned we invest only 5% of our defense budget on r&d this has to increase to 10 to 15% if we have to achieve all our goals i think the government is sanguine about this and hopefully in the next 5 to 10 years we will transition from a 5% from 5% of the defense budget on r&d to about 15% of our defense budget being used for r&d if you look at what we need to do in terms of technologies the first priority of course is aero engines today we have demonstrated a fourth generation aero engine for our fighter aircraft but going ahead we would need a sixth generation aero engine where the thrust to weight ratio is exceed 10 for that we have to develop several technologies such as single crystal blades with electron beam pvd thermal barrier coatings powder metallurgy discs ceramic matrix composites for the static parts to begin with and if we have to do this and deliver an aero engine the only way i can see is if we do a co development with a foreign oem but one has to realize that if we want this capability the country will have to invest close to 4 to 5 billion dollars that's 40 to 50 thousand crores because we should not repeat the mistakes that we have made in the past if we want to develop a aero engine we have to set up testing capabilities for each subsystem we have to set up a high altitude test facility we have to set up a flying test bed we have to set up manufacturing capabilities to make a disc which would need investing in a forge press which can press 50000 tons so it's it's a commitment which the country has to make if you have to become atmanirbhar in this critical technology of aero engines when it comes to platforms we have reached a certain level of maturity in our fighter aircraft but we need to build capacity today we are not able to deliver 16 aircraft per year for that we have to increase our capacity and whether it should be in a public sector or whether it should be in a private sector or joint is a decision which we all have to arrive at but a, a country can afford two players in the fighters only us if you see has two players and maybe russia also has two players but overall in other countries you have only one major player because the volumes are not sufficient so we have to take a call and support whatever decision we arrive at after due deliberations but way warfare is evolving we have to invest heavily in unmanned platforms and manned unmanned teaming we have to look at development of male uavs hail uavs we have to look at stratospheric airships or haps if you want persistent surveillance in the battlefield we will have to look at these platforms we will have to look at awncs and avacs we have a huge shortfall today and unless we invest in these technologies true atmanirbharta will not come 